Today I'm going to be redesigning modern logos so they look vintage. Up first we have the TikTok logo. I really wanted to make this one look kind of 70s inspired, so I went online and found a font called Bunky Dory and I typed out TikTok in Illustrator. I decided to give that a stroke that was the blue color from the TikTok logo, and then I gave it this kind of gradient looking drop shadow, and here's the final result. This one turned out exactly how I was hoping it to, and honestly I would really love this on a t-shirt. Up next we have Snapchat, and my idea for this one was a 1920s kind of art deco logo. A lot of these logos have very geometric shapes and a lot of gold and black, so I decided to try to kind of make the outline of the Snapchat ghost, but using geometric shapes. I drew that out on my iPad just to kind of get a gist of it, then I brought that into Illustrator and started actually making the shape. Once I was happy with how that looked, I typed out Snapchat in this font called Capital, and I noticed on a lot of these old logos they had the established date, so I ended up putting that at the top, and here's the final result. I think this ghost looks so cute and it came out exactly how I was picturing it. Up next we have Tesla and I thought it'd be funny if I did this in kind of like an 80s or 90s really colorful logo. So I found this font called Zubilo and typed out the T and the Tesla and then I added a bunch of just like old geometric looking shapes and here's the final result. It's giving me very much like MTV or like an old solo cup type of vibe and I love it. Lastly I chose to do Duncan and I wanted it to kind of look like a 50s diner feel. So I typed out Duncan and it's actually in this font called Dr. Sugiyama and I decided to make the I be an old like vintage starburst. Then I typed out donuts and I put them in a bunch of little circles. I added a very geometric like looking shape in the background and add a little line and here's the final result. If Duncan did like a vintage pop-up, I could definitely see them doing something like this. Well, that is it for this video. I am in love with how all four of these came out. If I had to pick a favorite, it's really hard, but honestly the Snapchat one, I feel like kind of goes the hardest, but also the Dunkin' Donuts one looks the best on that sign. So who's to say? If you like this video, I'm gonna try to put out some more long form content like this on YouTube. So definitely subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know which logos you want me to give vintage redesigns to next, and let me know which one's your favorite in the comments.